Hello everybody, Grandpa here. So I have a box of Night Wanderer Japanese. And if you know my channel, you know this is my favorite, trying to figure out who the heck these people are. <laughs> so let's rip, I'm gonna rip 10 packs because in Grandpa's, that's like dog years. In, in uh, Grandpa years, Japanese packs are equal to like 10 packs each. So it's like ripping 300 packs. So here we go. Here we go. And we got a... Oh, and I only have... I'm on a trip, as, you, as some of you do know this, and I only have one camera with me, so I do the best I can. I can't show you me and the cards at the same time. So, what would you rather see, the cards or me? <laughs> Ten packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make sure I'll count them twice because sometimes I miss things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Okay, I'm going to open all of them, and then I'm going to disclose them. That's one pack. In fact, let me get my garbage over here where I can get into it. Grandpa, as you know, used to have problems ripping packs, and now Grandpa is Pack Ripper Extraordinaire, which I think is French. I knew, if I knew how to say it in Japanese, I would. Watch this. Watch this next one. Watch this next pack. I'm going to do it. Watch. Watch. Are you ready? Eyes closed. <laughs> That's four. What am I looking for? I'm looking for... I don't know. I don't know what the chase cost. I can't look online. I can't remember. I'm 72. I can't remember what I did five minutes ago. Okay. This is an awful lot for 10 packs. How many packs am I up to now? I got one, two, four left. So quick math says I've done six. <laughs> and I didn't need a calculator. <laughs> I didn't need to use my phone. It's incredible how in school nowadays that they don't make you, uh, never mind. <laughs> okay, we got two left. That means eight down, two to go. I mean, I used to have the worst times with these things, and now it's like these things are like a hot knife, and these are butter. Right through. Ten packs, baby. I'm hoping to find five goodies. What do you think? Because there's only ten cards in a pack. That's a hundred cards. So if I have a five percent pull rate, see, this is stuff they don't teach you anymore, how to do percentages and stuff. So here we go. Now, should I give it a, a quick go through? And, oh, yeah, I should give it, wow, ha, 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 holy schmoly, wow, I'm going to have, of course, I'm going to make a, uh, a short video of all these winning cards that I've pulled, and, uh, because I have no idea what they are, and I'm just going to call them as I see them, and most of the time, I really don't see them, so, so I really can't call them, uh, <laughs> Boy, oh boy, do I have the worst time with Japanese cards. So let's put this. Uh, uh, that's, uh, oh, I can't remember who that is. How do I forget who that? Okay, here we go. We're going to go through this very quickly. Okay. Is this Hypno? Hypno, maybe? I, I'm not 100% certain. Here's a, uh, is this Horsey? It's in the Horsey fam. No, that's Horsey up there. This is Horsey family. I don't know who that is. Here's the yellow guy flying out of the tree. You know, you're walking under a tree and all of a sudden one of these yellow guys, you look up and go, oh, what's that cute little yellow thing? Look, at here it comes on your face. And it's got like these claws that are going into your eyes. Don't trust the Pokemon. Uh, or is this drowsy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Here's some kind of a... Starmie, that's not Starmie. I know it isn't. Here's Single Blade. I that, I don't know who it is. Here's a here's an owl that looks very happy. Here's a uh, white thing walking through the snow. I think this might be Evatel. Evatel is that how you say it? It's, it's spelled kind of weird. I put all the good cards in back. <laughs> there's there's several of them. Okay, here's this guy. Uh, 
have no idea who that is. I'm, I'm on a run here. This, is this horsey? I don't know. This could be horsey. Uh, this could be Meowth. <laughs> I'm just guessing. You know how it is. This is, oh, is this uh, Sylveon, maybe? Maybe? That's one of Eevee's. I know that. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, here's the uh, Pokemon uh, corporate headquarters. Now, the reasons they have corporate headquarters is there's people like me that are constantly chasing Pokemon. Uh, there's others. You can go out there. You can go on the streets and see people walking around like zombies. They're actually playing Pokemon Go. They're not zombies. Okay, they're having fun in a zombie kind of way. And so uh, the headquarters here is where they make all the decisions how to keep away from people like me which is very easy because this is where all the uh, restraining orders come from. Okay, here's, ha, 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 I know who this is. That's Varum. Ha, ha. I got to remember to look over there and not over there. Okay, here's a cat. Don't know what the cat's name is. There's a lot of cats in Pokemons nowadays. I don't know who they are. Here's a cat. Here's not a cat. <laughs> oh, here's a trainer. Oh, this is Cynthia. Now, Cynthia and I, Used to be very good friends. We used to we used to double date a lot. Yeah, she'd be out with her boyfriend, and I'd be out with uh, myself. And uh, I'd be like, you know, it's called they call it stalking nowadays. But I wasn't really st I was just following her. And uh, you saw about I said before about the the restraining orders. This was one of the first ones I ever got. And I, from what I remember, it said keep away from me, you crazy guy. Okay, so here's a this is a an elephant with rocks on his. I think, I've been to Africa. I've seen elephants with rocks on their nose like that. It actually happens. Oh, here's here's uh, Gobat. Gobat? Is that, is that Gobat? I don't know. Here's an owl in the tree. It fits perfectly. That's a crazy. That's... Uh, here's a... Uh, well, now, this is a pokey donut. It's a pokey nut. <laughs> there are some pokey nuts here. That's for sure. Okay. So, when you go to... Uh, Pumpkin, pokey donuts. It's not easy to say, trust me. Uh, and you order, this is what they give you. They give you, you, you think you're going to get a Dunkin' Donuts, you're getting a pokey donut. Uh huh. Here's a, I, I knew who that was. If I knew who it was, I'd tell you. Uh, same thing here. Same thing here. Okay, this guy I've never seen before, so I have no idea who it is. Is that the front or the back? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm on a run. Oh, this guy. I know who this is. Not. <laughs> Here's the guy with the one blade again. Okay. Here's the cat again. A lot of cats. Okay. Now you're out in the woods and it's dark. It's getting dark. It's not really completely dark. It's twilight. And all of a sudden, this thing comes walking towards you. Now, do you try to pet it or do you run like a banshee? Me? I'm running like a banshee. <laughs> okay, here's a uh, one of those. Here's a pokey stretcher. Got to have them. Because in case you ever whack a Pokemon in the head, they got to carry them off. They got to take them to the pokey hospital. Pokey intensive care. Here's a uh, Pokemon out west. You can tell he's out west. You know, I can tell he's out Well, Look at the background back there. That's it. That's not New York City. Here's a white Pokemon. No idea who it is. Here's Norbat. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Or Gobat. Some kind of bat. I'm not really 100% certain. This could be uh, any Pokemon for all I know. Here's that damn Meowth again. No idea. Here's the uh, Happy Owls or the Howls. <laughs> just, what? Are, I don't know any of them. I don't speak. Oh, here's the. This is uh, through the Sands of the Hourglass. This is the, for that television show, uh, The Pokey Days of Our Lives. That's right. That's right. Here's, uh, this is what I would look like if I stuck my tongue into an electrical outlet. Right there. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I got one. That's Evie. <laughs> I know that for a fact. That's Evie. Yay. I didn't go zero for a hundred. Okay. Here's the little green thing hiding behind a rock or a grok, whatever. Oh, that's not Rob Gronkowski. I didn't say that. Here's this thing. No idea. Now we're getting down to the shinies. 
Okay, here's a regular hollow of a card. I have no clue. Here's a regular hollow of a card. I have no clue. Here's an art rare. Oh. Well, let's go with the double rare first, okay? This is a double rare. Uh, and the reason I don't know what it is is because it's double rare. I have no idea. It looks like an engine, but we'll figure it out. See, I see Varum up there, so that's got to be Combustaboom or something. I'm just making up names now. Okay, here we go. Wow. So I got two art rares here. Which one do I want to see first? Illustrated Whisker. Look at this. Look at this card. This card is beautiful. Looks like a mountain lion looking over Los Angeles. Wow. And of course, it's got that cat up there. So it's a member of that cat family. And then this one is uh, some elephants squirting some water on their butts in the, uh, in the savannas. That's not the jungle. You got to be careful what you say here. And so that was pretty cool. I uh, got to admit. I mean, literally three really nice cards, but two awesome ones. So this was, uh, that's only one third of the box. I got two more thirds to go, people. So this is Grandpa saying, I hope you had a good fourth. Today's the fifth. I'll see you on the sixth. <laughs>